Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager at Autodesk. In this Tips and Tricks, I will show you how to get the best out of your hardware shadows in Showcase. Here is a good example on how you can stop certain objects to cast shadow and achieve greater realism when you're using hardware shadows. For example, the canopy of my project here, as well as the store, is made of a certain glass element, so transparent element. So in reality, I should have a shadow that has parts of light in it, not a full block shadow like I do have in my project. So to fix it, we'll open the directional light and shadows menu and we'll go under the shadow casting for all environments. We're going to change the shadow that are cast by all object to be specified objects on ground and objects. Now what we'll do next is select all the glass element in our scene. So select one of the material, select all object with the same material, go back to the uh, shadow menu and choose the shadow caster, stop selected object from casting shadows. So what's happening is that now my glass object no longer casts shadows. So the shadow of the canopy is now partial and the light is shining through the glass of my store. But my shadow is still pretty blurry and not quite representative of a noon type of shadow. So what I'm going to do is increase the resolution of my shadow. Now you see I have a really nice and sharp shadow. And you can also increase or decrease the softness of your shadow to have a sharper or more blurry shadow depending on the time of the day that you have. You might want to have it more sharp or more more soft. So I'm going to go for 30% softness and now I have a very beautiful shadow coming from my canopy with element of transparency. Now you have to keep in mind that increasing the resolution of your shadow will slow down the navigation and affect the performance in showcase depending on your computer. So you might want to keep the resolution on a quite low resolution when you're working with showcase, building your, your scene, and when you are ready to output your images, do your render, re-increase the um, res shadow resolution so you're able to have very nice shadow exactly the sharpness that you want and have really nice effect in your shadow. Now this tip centric is only important if you're planning to use hardware rendering because if you are using ray tracing, ray tracing is an accurate light calculation and therefore material transparency and soft shadows are respected. 